Today I'm going to show you how to experience Kabuki in Tokyo. Kabuki is a traditional Japanese theater form performed by all male casts, including both male and female roles. Kabuki plays tells a variety of traditional stories such as revenge, successful, and tragedy through dynamic and beautiful Kabuki performance. Kabuki is more than just a tourist attraction, it's a part of Japanese culture. It used to be a popular entertainment during the era period, just like you are going to cinema complex nowadays, but now it's more of a performing art that people sometimes dress up and go and enjoy it. If you have time during your stay in Tokyo, it might be interesting to go see the performance. In Tokyo, the place you can see the Kabuki performance is not Kabuki Cho in Shinjuku. In Tokyo, where you can see the Kabuki is this Kabuki the theater in Ginza. It's not in Kabuki Cho in Shinjuku. The Shinjuku's Kabuki Cho was named because they were going to open Kabuki the theater there, but they didn't. But it ended up they opened the cinema complex and the musical theater. And where you can see the Kabuki performance regularly is Ginza's Kabuki the theater. The Kabuki the theater is located in the Ginza. And it's not far from the Mitsukoshi department store at the Ginza Yonchom intersection. Most tourists pass by here, just looking up on the way to Tsukiji Market from Ginza. But if you are interested in Japanese culture, how about going inside and watch the show during your stay in Tokyo? Now let's see how you can get tickets. Kabuki is typically performed as a one show with two or three sets of stories with breaks in between. But the entire show will be 3 to 4 hours if you don't have time or if you like to experience a little bit of kabuki or if you are on a budget, there are tickets called single act seats. But it's not like you can sit anywhere in the theater and there is a special seating area for the single act seats on the fourth floor. You have no access to the other parts of the kabuki the theater and the seats are far away from the stage. But they are a great option if you don't have much time and want to see a little bit of Kabuki as part of your sightseeing. Before, you had to line up to get the ticket for the total 90 seats. But from this summer, a new system called Single Act Online Tickets was launched. And 70 seats among the total 90 seats of Single Act seats are sold online from the noon time of the previous day of the show making it easier for visitors to enjoy Kabuki. And the rest 20 seats are sold at the Kabukiza Theater. Today I'm going to show you how to buy tickets and where to see Kabuki in Tokyo. I'm going to watch a single act performance. The Kabukiza Theater was first built in 1889, but the current building is newly built. The theater is directly connected to Higashi Ginza Station, and you can enter the basement second floor of the building directly from the station, where there is a ticket counter for the full show and lots of souvenir shops. If you like to watch the full show at the better seating area, you can purchase it online or come to the ticket counter on the basement second floor and ask for the ticket of the day or any day during your stay in Tokyo. They speak fluent English. However, single act seats, the 20 seats are sold here at the first floor from 10 a.m. of the day of the show as the non-reserved seats. If there are online seats that you can reserve your seats, I think it's better to buy them online. The price is different each time, but today it was 1,600 yen. So now let's go inside. So I printed out the ticket in the paper. I think I don't have enough color ink. You can also show in your smartphone. The single act seats are located on the fourth floor. There is also a separate entrance for the fourth floor. For Kabukiza Theater, there is no dress code, so you don't have to worry about how you look. But if you think you can enjoy more if you dress nice, you can dress nicely too. You see lots of people wearing kimono. They have the English translation of the brochure. So it's better to read the storyline first, so you can focus on watching the show, instead of trying to understand the story. On the main floor, there are some shops selling different drinks, foods, but on the fourth floor, I saw only one vending machine. This floor, they only have the vending machine of the drink. 
but so you might want to get something to eat if you like, but probably just one shot so you don't have to. You might want to keep your belongings to the coin locker because seats are pretty small. So this was my seat. My seat was the last last row of the theater. Almost looks like pasted on the ceiling. But actually I find it not bad because I could see the whole stage. The seat is made well. Today's episode was called Gion Saire Shinkoki. The story about a couple confined in Kinkakuji, also known as the Golden Pavilion. The Kabuki show was actually amazing. The seat was far, but I could see the stage very well and it was so beautiful and dynamic. Before you go to watch it, I recommend to pretty study a little bit about the story so you can enjoy so much, so much more. Instead of just trying to understand the episode, you can focus on the acting and the stage and the beauty and the dynamic action. If you like to study a little more about Kabuki to enjoy the show more, there is a website by the Shochiku who owns the Kabukiza, so it might be interesting to see this website and go to see the show. So when you are not sure if you like the Kabuki or you don't want to take too much time for it, it's a really good idea to watch that single act ticket. Single act ticket try to save online from this summer that you can get one day before noon. So you can, for, for example, today's ticket I bought yesterday at noon time. Go to the website, choose single act seat, and you can choose the date, either today or tomorrow, and you can choose a seat. I got this second row, number 42. Again, there are only 70 seats, so you might want to be online at noon of the previous day, if possible. If you are interested in Kabuki more and would like to spend half a day for the Kabuki, I recommend you to get the full show of the Kabuki. You can have a little more space, you can choose your favorite seat and full experience of Kabuki. The price range from upper tier B is 4,000 yen and the box seat is 20,000 yen. In Tokyo, you could also see Kabuki performance in National Theatre by the Imperial Palace, but it's going to close as of this October and reopen in 2029 after rebuilding. It's going to be more open to Japanese people who are not familiar with traditional arts and international visitors to enjoy Japanese performing arts. Today I've shown you how to experience Kabuki in Tokyo. Kabuki is a traditional Japanese theater form with dynamic and beautiful performance. If you are interested in it, I encourage you to experience it for yourself. Thank you for watching. Have a great trip to Japan. Have a great week until the next video.